Hey everyone, so I thought, you know, since I got back from work a little bit earlier today and my husband's not back yet, I thought I'll quickly try and sneak a quick video for you guys um, to share with you some of the products that I've been seriously reaching for, you know, day after day. So I've got a lot to share with you and um, let's get right into it. First things first, I've got a few skincare items um, that I started using several weeks back and I have to say I've been really really loving it. The first one is the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. Now this, I just got this several weeks back and I've been using it ever since. Um, it's a serum that helps hydrate the skin like thoroughly and I've been using it all over the face morning and night and you can actually use it even on the eyes. The texture of this is seriously amazing. If you haven't tried this, do check it out at the counter. It's really, really good. The other item that I've been loving is the Biotherm Blue Therapy Serum in Oil. Serum in oil. Um, I've actually been incorporating this into my nighttime routine and um, it's lovely. It pumps out as a serum and as you apply it you know, transforms into kind of like an oil. So again, very good hydrating properties. Now this one is one that I only started using this week and I have to say I'm quite surprised how much I actually do like this. This is the Guerlain Super Aqua Cream Day Gel. So this is an anti-aging, hydrating, age defying you know, um, moisturizer for the day. Um, it's got a very light texture but it smells wonderful and it doesn't you know, grease up the face and um, it doesn't cause makeup to slip and slide, which is what I love. So I really, really love these. That's all for skincare. Now, for foundation and base makeup, I have actually been pretty lazy, you know, the last couple of weeks and I've been using a lot of powder foundation. So I've been using a lot of Cladipo. This is the Cladipo um, Brightening Enhancer Base. So it's a brightening base that you know I apply all over the skin. I think it's got a really good, um, it gives you a very good glow from within kind of effect. And I pair this up together with the matching brightening base um, powder foundation. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is one of the best powder foundation I've ever used. I really, really love this. Um, the price tag is huge but it's worth every single cent I'll say. Now for the face, um, I have, or rather for the eyes, I've been loving using my Dior Show um, Mono Eyeshadow in Pavilion. This is number 541. Um, this is part of the Transat edition. Um, I've actually made quite a big dent in it already. It's a beautiful peachy champagne, um, slightly shimmery eyeshadow that I like to use all over the eyelid as a wash, single wash of color. I don't actually use any brush with this because I think it's just a lot quicker to use my fingers in the morning and it blends a lot more beautifully. Now the next one, like because I don't really have a very deep socket so I do like to kind of uh, you know, give my eyes some dimensions and um, I do use, I've been using the Burberry eyeshadow in Chestnut um, just on the outer corners of my eyes together with my purple holder brush and I believe this is 5523 or 5532, I don't know but I'll list it down below. Um, another product that I've been using, I think multitasking product is one of the things that um, is so important especially in mornings that I'm rushing for time. The best one for that would be NARS Paloma because it's got two matte shades, one which I can use as a contour on my cheeks and also you know on days that I don't use the Burberry I'll just use this on my eyes and um, the highlight color is just a matte highlight under the brow bone so really really easy. Um, and for the cheeks, one bronzer that I've been really loving is the Laura Mercier um, bronzer in Ritual. This is a limited, I think it's a limited edition, I'm not sure, but it's beautiful and it gives a very beautiful healthy glow to the skin. Um, to finish off the eyes, I have actually been loving um, the new NARS series eyeliner. This is the one in Night Clubbing. 
Um, it's black with gold shimmers. I've got a full review on my blog. I'll put a link down below. It's really, really good for kind of like, you know, lining the waterline or above the eyelid and it doesn't smudge, doesn't budge, it stays put all day. And yes, it's got shimmers, but it doesn't irritate my eyes like some other eyeliners would. So I really love this. Um, a mascara that I, I, I know on my blog I've reviewed a lot of mascaras, I've tried a lot of mascaras lately but recently I've just been going back to Lancome Hypnostar Waterproof Mascara again and I just forgot how lovely this is. I have it on today because um, I don't know, for some reason this mascara seems to work better over time so I've had this for a few months now and um, I love it. It gives the most beautiful fluttery lashes. It helps lashes stay on all day, holds curls really really well and absolutely love it. Now one lip product that is probably the first high-end lip product that I will fully complete using is this YSL Rouge Velox Shine. This is in the number... hmm... strange. There is no number here, but I'll look for it and I'll show you, but as a reference, this is all that's left, um, and it's what I've got on right now. I love it. Um, the YSL Rich Velux Shines have got the most beautiful texture, it's so moisturizing, and it leaves a very beautiful stain on the lips, and it lasts a long time. Absolutely love it. Now, for my hair, I've just... I've kind of put aside my Babyliss Pro, um, you know, Pro Perfect Curl because my hair is now up to my waist and it just takes too long to curl. This, um, on the other hand, is a curler that I've got for like maybe about seven years now. This is an Enzo Milano um, one inch curler, I think. And um, it's just a very simple curler like that, I can do my hair in under 10 minutes, right? Um, leave a comment below if you'd like to see how I do my hair in the morning in under 10 minutes and achieve, um, you know, curls like that. It's very loose, you know, effortless curls and um, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'll probably do a tutorial um, sometime soon, maybe this weekend. Um, so yeah, so that's it and these are all the products that I've really really been loving um, all the last couple of, couple of months I, I'd say and um, yeah, so I really hope I'll be back doing more videos for you guys. I truly apologize for being away for so long. It's just been very hectic at work. Um, no other excuse. And um, yeah, so that's it. If you like to stay in touch with me and um, have a little peek into my daily life, do follow me on Instagram. It's She Shops Makeup. And um, also do check out my blog because I do post things up there a little bit more often than YouTube. Although I do enjoy filming a lot. So anyway, um, that's all for me today. I really hope to get this video out as soon as possible and I hope to see you guys soon in a later video. Bye!